All right, well, it's been about two weeks since the last video. I've just been in Morgantown. I've been busy, but I've been monitoring the lease with my cell cameras, and my mineral site that I put out in the last video has had great results. I've had a lot of does and a couple shed bucks in there using it already, so I'm happy with the location of that. But the cell camera I have on my feed station, I'm not too happy with. And what you're looking at right now is a trespasser. He, I've got a couple pictures of him. He's been using it night and day, and the landowner thinks he's just using it as a shortcut to get over the mountain. But regardless, he's trespassing and it's something that needs to be taken care of. So to hopefully fix this, I'm going to hang a gate on the access road to the property and seeing how there's no other way for the guy to get in, it should stop the problem. And if not, I'll get the DNR involved and they can hopefully help me out. But the plan right now is to hang the gate Saturday morning and then shed hunt the rest of the day. And I'm pretty sure all my bucks have dropped, so I'm thinking it's going to be a good day. Well, I'm a little behind schedule. I just got the truck unloaded. It's like one o'clock, just moving slow today. But I'm, got, I'm where I'm gonna put the gate. I think it's a good spot. I got this giant rock right here. And then on this side, I got the big hillside, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just gonna put these posts in the ground, get them concreted, and then I'm gonna start shed hunting. I'm hoping to get this done quick, so I have a little bit longer to shed hunt. Well, that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. Uh, it took about an hour and a half just to get the posts in the ground with cement, but. I'm going to let them dry while I go shed hunt. I might put the gate on when I come back down. If not, I'll come tomorrow. But it's like 2.30 and I just I want to get out and shed hunt for a little bit. So I'm going to head up the hill right now and check a few spots that I haven't looked at in a while and see what I can find. I think I'm out of shape. Every time I walk up that hill, I'm about to die. Thing ain't any easier. But I also have a big bag of corn in my backpack. And in the last video, I talked about um, the big shooting house and the feed station and everything. So I figured I'd show that. The landowner, he built this giant feed station right here and this real big shooting house. And I'll show that more in later videos, but right now my plan is I wanna take all this, there's a feeder there too. I wanna take all this and put a food plot in. It's a great looking spot for it. So it's right in the middle of the property. So I think it'll be good. I just gotta get the soil and everything tested. But I'll do that later, I have plenty of time. I'm gonna get this corn out of my backpack, put it in here, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head over this way first. Cause there's a camera I haven't checked in. I don't even know how long, month and a half, so that's where I'll start the shed hunt today, over in the main back of the property. I just pulled the card on this camera. It's on one of the heaviest trails coming into the feed station, so I just want to check it. I'm going to check it later, just because I don't have a lot of time right now, but I'll check it when I get home. There should be a lot of stuff on it, hopefully at least. I'm going to download it to my phone, go on, check another one, and start shed hunting down over on that area. Uh, there's a lot of pictures on here. But I saw something. Yeah, here it is. I thought this was really cool. I've never got a picture of a red fox in the daylight. And I got this one of him. Got this one of him in the snow. So that's cool. Never seen that before. I've been getting this fox on camera a lot. So he's definitely in here all the time. Well, for the first time today, I'm coming up on some bucks, huh? Finally. I made it up to the spot where I said I wanted to check out last. Where I thought might be a bedding area. And we have our first rub of the day. Actually, it doesn't look very old. So that's a good sign. If he's dropped 
in this area. I think it's gonna be back behind me in here or over in that big log jam somewhere in there. So I'm just gonna walk all this, this big flat slowly and see if I can find anything. <sighs> Something else I've noticed about this property is it's very open everywhere. There's not much cover, but there is cover on the other side. And that's where I spend most of my time. And that's because there's more sign over there and, and it makes sense. This is just really open. It's not good for deer. They want cover. Well, I don't think I'm gonna find any sheds today. I walked that whole bottom, anywhere that I thought there might be a bed, and there's just nothing out there. So now I'm doing what I came to the property to actually do today. I'm walking up this ridge line where I'm following this guy's four-wheeler tracks, and I'm gonna hang a bunch of posted signs and just see where he's going, because I, I, I really don't know. But I'm also going out, I mean, the way, the way he's going is where I had a trail camera that had the battery and a C card stolen. So he's definitely not the only one in this area. And there's not a lot of posted signs, so I just wanna add a few more, maybe make them realize that there are people out here. I, um, I got a little carried away, I think. There's no way he can say he didn't see a posted sign now. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right here. So, I think he's gonna get the picture now. Honestly, he's probably still gonna go right around, drive through the property again, and find the gate. And he's just gonna be mad, so. Whatever, he doesn't need to be on here anyways. Well, I called it quits a little early. It was just getting really cold and I just wasn't finding anything. But, stopped back down at the bottom of the hill and I was gonna hang the gate and the concrete doesn't dry yet. So that means I gotta stop back by again tomorrow just to hang that gate. But, I am stopping by a buddy of mine's house, uh, Cole. He's been shed hunting for a few days. I'm gonna check out what all he's found. And I'm not kidding. This guy's 16 years old and he's found more sheds than most grown men. It's, I've never seen anything like it. I swear Cole can smell a shed. So I'm excited to see what he's found. He's found a couple good ones. There he is. Yeah. Shed master. We'll go ahead in the house. <laughs> What'd you find today? A uh, bit nice deadhead. Probably two years old. It's got three, it's got three points coming off its base on that one side. Got my deadhead pile. And then when the shed season comes out, I get all my sheds out. You got your five sides, your eight sides, and whatever else you got left. And then, you got your deer, and your hats, you know, camera gear. So, what I was talking about earlier on the way over here, is I said that you're 16 years old, and you've found yeah. probably more sheds than most grown men have. <laughs> and these are just your best ones, right? Yeah, these are just, these are just the ones that I uh, found last year mainly, actually. Where's um where's the one you found on my lease? Right there. Right there. That's still the biggest one I've found this year. I've only found six though so far. Sheds, but yeah, that's the best one I've found so far this year. And, I mean, I have truck camera pictures from the landowner, but I haven't got any pictures personally of him. Well, I told you Cole could find the sheds. I think it's unbelievable the amount of sheds he's actually found. And he's the only one that's found a shed on my lease. But anyways, I mean, it was a really slow day up there today. I didn't get to do much. I had to spend a lot of time hanging a gate when I could have been shed hunting. But all my deer have dropped now, so I've covered the ground, the antlers aren't there. There's a few more spots I have to look at, and it's some pretty decent spots. It's a lot of thickets and just heavy trails. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully they're there. If they're not, no big deal. But anyways, I'm gonna be home either next weekend or the weekend after, and I should be making some more videos then. Hopefully more than one, we'll see. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.